dear students today we will see the frequency domain filtering technique so in this particular session i am going to use lina rgb image as the input image and for the processing uh, at, at the, the beginning we will be transferring this image into a grayscale image using the following code so a1 in this particular case a1 is a colored image and a is the the rgb image so I'm going to run this program. So I'll be finding the output will be something like this. So this is the original image. We can see the original image like this. This is called the Lina image. Now we're supposed to apply the Fourier uh, transformation into this image. Now this is how you calculate the the Fourier transform of the image. So we are going to use a new variable which is AF which is used to store the Fourier transform of the image by using the command M52 of A. 52 indicate this is two dimension and A is the input image. So I'm going to display the image by using figure two. I am show matte to gray log of this. This particular uh, uh, statement it, uh, shows that or it is used in order to display the value of uh, the F of T. So just for this uh, sake of understanding, AF is nothing but the Fourier transform and normally the Fourier transform in the complex domain which means it has got a real part and uh, the imaginary part. So in order to display it first of all we have to calculate the ABS which is the absolute value which is nothing but the square root of real part square plus the imaginary part square. And uh, in order to uh, get it displayed over the entire edge we are using the log function and mat to gray is used to transfer the matrix into gray level so that the numbers, the pixels is arranging from 0 to 255. So this particular uh, statements, uh, this particular uh, program that help us to uh, display the FFT of the given image. Okay, so I'm going to run the program. Let us see the output. So now there are two images. This is the uh, original image, which is the Lina image, and uh, the, the, this image, which is the FFT of the input image. So this shows that it's a frequency spectrum and it is showing uh, uh, about the, the frequency of the different components uh, okay, which is exist in the uh, particular image. So normally starting from 0, 0 here. So this extreme, this point is indicating the 0, 0 point. So here in the frequency spectrum, uh, you know, by using this uh, IM pixel info, we'll be able to find out, you know, the X and Y coordinates and also the intensity levels. So we can see that this coordinate is supposed to be 1, 1, which is the DC component whose value is equal to 1, which is like a normalized value. So the highest point or the highest value of the F of T uh, is located or is you will find it at the, the point 1, 1. Since it is normalized, so we will get 1 there because the uh, it is going to be divided by the maximum number. So you are going to get 1. So if you go to other series, other, other regions, you will find different numbers like 0 0.35, 0 0.37 and so on. So the highest number is going to be 1 here. So we can say that this is something called the DC point or the average point or it shows the summation of all the pixels available and that is going to be divided by the total number, summation of the total number of pixels here. So this is called the DC, DC value. So that DC value normally located at here. Okay. Now uh, it is difficult to, uh, you know, to to understand the particular point here. So we'll try to shift you know, this particular uh, uh, DC point into the model by using a command. So we have just uh, add a new command here, AF1 is equal to FFT shift of AF. So this means that we are trying to shift you know, the DC point into exactly the middle of the uh, plot, I mean, the middle of the image. And uh, it should be now looking something like this. So this is the original image and this is the uh, what you call the shifted f of t of the input image. So this DC point was exactly located here. Now that DC point is located exactly in the uh, middle. Okay, so this is the f of t shifted version of uh, the the image. So as we have discussed before, we'll find the maximum value exactly in the, in this particular point, which is uh, uh, in this example, it's like what 256 by 250, 257, 257 you have a value of, I mean, the, the image has got a value or the FFT has a value of 1. In all other area, you'll find lower values, okay. So this is how you fi find out the, the fast Fourier transform of a, a digital image. And the next video lecture, we'll be discussing about how uh, such an image that can be filtered using the uh, you know, different 